All right, no problem. We're just here at Penhurst Asylum. One of the most haunted asylums, if not well-documented asylum in the entire United States. We just got here and we have to go sign our waivers before I can even start anything. So right, let's go find out where to do that. All right, explorers, we're starting off our video right here in the back of the scenes of Penhurst, pretty much. The buildings are collapsed. Um, I'm meeting up with my team. I decided to stroll off away from everyone. I'm gonna meet up with my team right now. We're gonna meet up with our guy named Eric, and Eric is gonna be with us the whole night till three in the morning here at Penhurst, exploring this place till the end. And Eric is saying so much about how this place is haunted. You gotta watch out, like it's insane. And I'm just really like mind blown. How insane is this gonna be? How crazy is this gonna be? Is ghosts gonna pop off today? Are we gonna find some things we can't explain? We're gonna know everything tonight as we go. But right now I'm just like, it's ticking guys. Time is ticking. It is getting dark. We're filming at night. You guys already know. Oh, going underneath the spider web. All right, check this out. Look at this. Really, really cool building though. The architecture here is really cool. Now we will be going inside some of these buildings. Don't worry. I'm just looking around. I'm just amazed by the outside. Seriously. I started Beyond the Dark with the goal to make the show different and entertaining. I think we did a great job at that. We learned a lot since the show. We met a lot of great people and even some with special gifts. As of now, I learned that there's way more that meets the eye. Well, I got that from Transformers, that quote, by the way. I'm just saying. But no, seriously, there's something out there, and I don't know what it's called except ghost. I think it's a ghost. I think ghosts are actually out there. In today's Halloween special, by the way, guys, give a huge thumbs up and please share this video. We are heading to Pennsylvania to explore Penhurst Asylum, one of the most known haunted asylums in the entire world. The Penhurst State School and Asylum, originally called Eastern Pennsylvania Institution for the Feeble-Minded and Epileptic, was authorized for construction in 1903. It was conceived as a state-funded and operated facility to house any individual deemed feeble-minded, and thus unable to function in normal society. This included anybody with physical or mental problems such as abnormalities, psychological issues, mute, deaf, or even blind people even people with offensive habits, or even people with imperfect speech. When admitted into this asylum, they were classified on their physicality as either imbecile or insane. Then they classified their mental health as either healthy or epileptic. And then they classified their teeth as either having good, poor, or treated teeth. As time went on, the institution would be pressured to also house and hold immigrants, criminals, and orphans. It became a solution for riddling out society from all the undesirables. And pretty much what that last uh, little paragraph meant was if you were pretty much disabled or you did something wrong or you just was born sick or, you know, whatever, and the family didn't want you, they would drop you off there and just pretty much hide you from society. Anyways, by 1960, Penhurst was home to about 2,791 people, which is almost 900 more than the maximum capacity. And in 1968, a reporter went there and did a TV series on Penhurst, which was the first for most people to even heard of this place. No one knew that this institution pretty much existed. Now, when the TV show actually aired, a lot of people were upset what they were seeing. 
They seen people chained to adult side cribs. They seen children in cages. They seen a lot of other things that just really upset everybody. Even though a lot of bad things happened though, this was actually a positive impact in the end because after all the long suffering patients that happened, it just pretty much helped and changed medical practices today across the entire country and society as its whole. So from bad things happening, they learned and they made their mistakes and they learned from their mistakes to now where we are today. But I will say I don't agree with a lot of it and a lot of it could have been avoided with just better staff and crew in general though. But a lot of these things kind of needed not needed to happen, but it rarely helps society now. And by 1987, the place had finally shut down for good, and all the allegation and abuse has finally surfaced throughout the years. Here, the administration. This is where we parked to start this adventure. But there's a lot of them, and we're going to be going over this with Eric. Eric is going to be showing us every bit of information about this place as we go in. And it's, it's really hard as a creator myself, especially doing ghost videos, which I just started. Already, you know, I take these ghost videos I make really seriously and I try to make sure they're authentic and I can show so much information but still keep it as real but also entertaining as possible. And that's where it gets really hard because when I first started off doing this, I was a skeptic and I didn't believe in ghosts. And a lot of things have been happening and it's been making me think a lot differently about even life itself because now I'm like, okay, if ghosts are real, that means heaven's real. And it kind of makes me feel good about myself or, you know, in general, just because it's like, oh, like, at least if we die, it's not just like blank. And like, that's another good thing about it. But it's like, who, who knows? Like, I still, I still need more. I still need more. And I hope tonight's the night where I can get like, really like, okay, that's insane. But it already happened so many other times. So the last information right before we go and start this video is I want to talk about this really quick because I feel like it's important. These buildings are all getting knocked down except for two or three of them. The administration building is going to stay, the Mayflower is going to stay, and they're trying right now to make the Philadelphia stay, and they're trying to get the Quaker building to stay. These are the only four buildings they're going to have at here at Penrose Asylum in the next three years or less. Demolition is knocking every single building down that you've seen in this video already. And that's important because when this place is gone, it's gone for good, including all the crazy history that's ever happened here. And that's why, again, we document these places for, in general, before we even did Beyond the Dark. So as you can see here, they already moved the building there. They already removed the building here. And on the other side, they've already removed a ton of buildings. These are the last ones to go on this side before they actually come and remove these sides. There's actually two buildings way back there as well. And those are gonna be the first ones to go before this side. The city and everyone wants to keep, not the city, actually the city wants these buildings gone, but the people that are running this place now are trying to keep these buildings, even just for the looks and effects of it, to show like, hey, this is cool, this is haunted, this is fun. Um, like, let's keep it going, let's try to keep it running. And most importantly, let's preserve them as much as we can because everyone here loves the place too. I'm definitely digging the orange lights. Maybe this is the way. <laughs> Yo, I legit got lost. I was looking for you guys. Dude, we were just gonna come looking for you. I was like, where, where did they go? It's getting dark. We have to start now. Yeah, man. Let's do this. Let's create the best Beyond the Dark video ever. Let's exactly. do it right here. We gotta find Eric, our guide. He's inside. inside. Right here. Yeah. I've never been inside any buildings yet. Dude. Oh, you have this? Man. None. Flower building is Not insane. even this one? None. Okay. This is my first time. We checked out the first floor and there's so much stuff that you would actually find in the places that we explore like all the time. Like this is the stuff that we see every single day when we explore these places just left behind here. Clean, taken care of. It's amazing. That's good. Penhurst. This is our administration building at Penhurst, guys. This opened in 1918, so it's actually one of the newer structures on campus because campus opened in 1908. That's when we got our first patient. And this was the first building that patients would see when they would come here. They'd walk right through those doors there. Um, we use this building today as our haunted attraction. So we use the first and second floors and the basement and surrounding tunnels. Um, unfortunately, we can't go in there tonight. Um, like I said, our haunted attraction's in there, but this building's in great condition. So we're able to see the outside of it. And that little dome-shaped structure, I'm not sure if you can see it, that's kind of like our symbol of Penhurst, you know? Real cool. Yeah, like on the t-shirts? Yeah, yeah, yeah super cool. Did iconic so yeah actually all these catwalks you see that we're walking on is part of our tunnel system so these are all tunnels oh, really? um we won't be able to access this part of the tunnel right that's where our haunted attraction is of course um but we have right. a we have a very big very long right, tunnel right, system no way 
Is it because the the red light beam above us or no? Uh, it just went. It just came and went. Phone? My phone is on. My phone's on too. That's true. We were kind of in front of him a little bit, so it's hard to say. Unless their phones are on, I don't know. All right, I don't know. Something keep that, we'll keep it moving. Alone. See, we got the people. They're ready. They're ready for the yeah, ghost stuff. You see these queue lines in our ticket booth right here? Well, the shack. Um, this is for our haunted attraction here, and actually, this big green lot that you see. Hey guys, it, there used to be a building there. You getting the K2 again? Yeah. Yellow. Yellow. Oh, yellow's big. And we're all the way over here. Is it still going? Yeah. Who's here with us? Can you I light that? Can you light that up to yellow? Nope. Oh, now it stopped. We gone. As soon as I asked them to go up. Oh. Oh. You still here with us? Can you light that up again if you're still here with us? No? Okay. Well, I'll keep this on, so if you want to uh, chat, swing by. We'll be here all night. Seriously. <laughs> we had a woman here two years ago, and I was giving the tour like usual, and she said, Eric, I keep getting the name of Marie over by the swing set. And I mean, I'm sure we've had a Marie here. multiple, but um, she kept saying it, over by the swing set, over by the swing set. And that same night, um, I was over here on the catwalk and I was looking this way and I was talking to my group there right here and they pointed at something right by the swing set. This is like an hour after. And they said, we just saw a little girl by the swing set. I said, no, you didn't. No, I, right. I, I like quick turned. I didn't see anything. But I, said, I swear to God, it was there and it was gone. Just, just thinking about it was giving me like chills, you know. Hey. <laughs> but that was really, it was really weird. The same night the psychic said that. She wasn't part of the group that was here, but yeah, it was weird. Do you believe in ghosts, Eric? I do. After working here, I do. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, before I started working here, I was kind of, uh, I wasn't a skeptic, but I was open to it. Right. But uh, after being here for four years now, it's real. <laughs> What's your worst story? Like, like, any like dangerous stories? Um, there is one negative energy here that I'm going to get to right up here. He lives in this building. I'm going to talk about him in a second. Um, but I think for the most part, they're really just kind of stay back. They're kind of shy. They'll come out you know, if they get comfortable, but. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'm You're feeling, feeling good about good. it. I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like some stuff might happen. Nice. I'm hoping. I hope so. I'm hoping let's for hope, it. Hope. Fingers crossed. All right, so I want to talk about Quaker real quick. Okay. Quaker, Quaker, Quaker. So this building is probably the next building that we want to try to open to the public, um, just because of the activity that goes on in here. Um, the first and second floors, a lot of activity happens. Actually, that's where I had my first paranormal experience. I was in this building one night um, before I started ghost hunting, and this was back when I was a bit of an open-minded person. And uh, I went to the second floor, and I felt... This K2 is spiking right now. Did Solid. it just start right here? Yeah. Wow. It's been silent since before. That's interesting. i actually never seen that happen. And it's staying there, though. That's the thing. And you're just talking about how we think something I might have. happen. Well, this is where you said the negative energy was, right? Yes. I'm trying to debunk. There is a power cord here. Yeah, that's a steady. That's a steady signal. So that I don't think that's paranormal. Yeah, that could be it, it could be this this power cord here. Maybe I don't know. Maybe go to the door. I don't know. You want to try it at the door? Let's just give it a shot. And debunk now I like how we're debunking though, because we keep it real. Everyone be like, oh my god, it's legit. But we're trying to really figure this out. Oh, it's still kind of there. Now it's died down. Mm. Is there electricity to this building? Nope, no electricity. This is the knockback door, is it not? It is, it is. Good memory, like I said. Knockback door? So, yeah. the uh, rumor is if you knock, it'll knock back. So, I won't lie to you, I've only ever seen that happen once. And my group almost ran out of here. And it was like 9 o'clock. <laughs> oh, wow. They were here for like an hour. Yeah, so. If it happens, I might run out of here. You guys are on your own. Yeah. I, I, I want to know what's tripping the K2. Yeah, there's there's no going. electricity. I don't know. Yeah, there's no electric here. I'm even pulling away. Just I wasn't sure my if it was me. Have, my phone's not with me, so it's not. But that, it's not even the phone. The phone won't do that. 
that's going off like crazy. Yeah, yeah, we know that personally. That's how I know it's not the case. Like I said, we have a cord here, but now it's gone. Yeah, now it's gone, and you haven't moved. Dude, it's like moving though. It's like there's like a ghost on top of freaking Joe. Well, that would that would be a little. That wouldn't be the first time. Oh no. And what did I just say this building was? One of our yeah. more active buildings. <laughs> yeah, you did just yeah. say that. All right. Yeah, let's get let's go on with that. So the, what you were about to say. Yeah. So anyway, oh, so yeah. So uh, I was out here one night back before I was, uh, you know, I was more open-minded. I went to the second floor and uh, I felt fine the whole time. And I was with my buddy and we walked through like the threshold of this room. It was like a day room. It's right over there. You can't really see it. But as soon as we walked through that door, it was like immediately a 180 energy, you know, like goosebumps up. Like it felt like people were watching me. I kept checking over my shoulder. I turned to my buddy. I go, do you feel that? And I didn't want to tell him what I was feeling. I was, I wanted him to confirm it. And he's like, dude, it, it feels like there's people in here with us. Almost like, like, like hurtling in. And it was so weird. And I felt like this immense pressure on me. So I said, dude, I got to get out of here. So we got out of the building and it took until we literally exited the building. And then I felt better. But that was like, kind of like, okay, maybe there is something here, you mm. know? And ever since then, I've been a big believer in energy. That shit is real. <laughs> being able, the human body being able to pick up on energy and I agree with that. the electricity, your hair standing up on your arm, that, that is real. So, hmm. um, yeah. But I do want to talk about the basement real quick. So we have a, we have a negative entity living in this basement. Um, I'm not going to tell you his name, although if you, if you ask me enough, maybe I'll say it. I'm not gonna say it here, because uh, I don't really like him. Um, but we have confirmed reports on record that he worked here, he worked in this building, and he was a janitor here. And um, we found out over the years that he does not like women, specifically younger women, 20s, 30s. I'm so sorry. <laughs> two of them. Yeah. I'll go in. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, all the women in my group usually are like, oh shit. I'll say hi. So, <laughs> So um, unfortunately we can't go in his basement, but I got the next best thing. We're gonna be in the tunnel right outside his door. Okay. So. Okay, so that's something. Maybe we could try to, you know. Talk to him. Get him out tonight, so. Casey, do what you gotta uh, do. I'll Flare do with it. that yeah. ghost. I'll do it. Actually, we have another investigator here. Her name's Jen. She's not here tonight, obviously. Um, but she, this was a couple years ago. She has it on video. She was provoking him. I never recommend provoking. And she was doing that and he made a light fixture almost fall on her head. Really? I swear to God, she has it on video. Yep, yep. And she just narrowly missed it. She like stepped out of the way real because she heard it. She heard it coming off like like the ceiling and then she just like stepped away and it shattered right next to her. That, that would dude. be insane yeah. to and ever then, see, yeah, ever. She, she got EVPs the same time she, and the guy was like, you could hear his voice. He was like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, Jen. He even said her name. I'm kind of Yo. tempted to do that. No, please I mean, don't. you do you, but it's for the yeah. I have a challenge for my customers that I do because okay. I get a lot of hard asses here. You know, I'm not scared of anything, you know, whatever. So I'm like, okay, all right, wise guy. So I'm like, go into the tunnel. The tunnel's right here, by the way. This is how you get into it. The Rockwell that. tunnel system. I'm like, go into the tunnel by yourself, walk to the middle, turn your light out and set your timer for 10 minutes on your phone and just stand there. Guess how many I've had do it, actually do it. Probably 100%. No, zero. I'll do it. Three people. Dude, I'll do three it. Three people. I've been doing this for two years, man. There you go. Three. Only three. Huh? But, yo, if you're checking out, there's no shame. I won't even do it. <laughs> yo, for the... I'll, I'll do it. it. I'll do it nude if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> Being able to walk on this campus in the middle of, like... All right, Explorers, we are back at our base camp. Uh, which is the Mayflower Hall. Everyone's getting the stuff together. We're about to start the investigation. So we got all of our gear ready. We're going to the tunnels. And John right here is pretty much ready to go find some kid ghosts. That's right. He's ready though. <laughs> if they don't like this, then something's up, right? Yeah. So the idea is to try to like get the kids to talk or like do some ghost stuff. Or at least even touch the uh, the elf doll. Because what, what happens up. if you touch it? Like lights up, right? Yeah, I'll turn it on. Yeah, he lights up. Perfect. Yeah, I see that when you touch them. Dude, that's going to be crazy. If that works, yo, that's crazy. That's going to be nice. That's going to be nuts, actually. I might start screaming. <laughs> yeah, at night in the tunnels, yeah. That is going to be really creepy. We have six hours right now. It's 9 p.m. We have, we're here till 3 uh, a.m., so six hours to do all this stuff. It's going to be super fun. So, guys, we decided to all go down in the tunnel first as a group and then one at a time. 
Yeah. 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 After this, though, it's every man for himself. All right, guys, so I'll see you in a little bit. Good luck. All right, what's going on? Uh-oh. There's not even a batch on it. Yeah. What are you guys looking at in there? Anything? Pretty cool. Final just an ex extension. Oh, okay. It even says like what what building maybe it would have would have been right there. Yeah. The sign. The T building. I was just gonna say it looked like a T. Yeah. Building T. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm gonna take a look really quick. If you start talking to him and trying to get him out, especially if you say his name, <clears throat> I'm not gonna say his name. Um, this will just become like an air conditioner. And it just gets so freaking cold here. How is that going That thing on? is freaking going off. Is yours going off too? Yeah. And this is a real one. Both the K2s are going off at the same time. And I think they're both emitting the same level too. Three K2s all reading the exact same thing. So there's no power. There's no power. There is no power. That's crazy. It's only at the door. Oh my god. Can we do like a shave and haircut? So his name, I'm not gonna say it, is the same as a peanut butter. That's your hint. <laughs> Teddy. No. You're getting colder. You're getting colder. This is crazy. It's not too good. No. Well, they're. Teddy peanut butter, Jiffy peanut butter, Skippy. His, oh my God, John got it. So, dude, his, his name, name's Skippy. His name is Skippy. So we should try to like call Skippy into an EVP. Yeah. So yeah, if we want to do like an EVP and we could just ask him questions, we could try that. We should definitely try to talk to him. Alright, hold on. Oh, oh, do we have a spirit box too? Whistle? Whistle? Like, like, you what heard a whistle? Voice? Oh, I just heard a band. Did you? Yeah, yeah, just 100%. I didn't hear that. I heard a whistle and then a voice and then a bang. Is someone down here? Let's go. No way. Yeah, dude. That was you're you're going to have the whistle on camera and you're going to have the bang. Okay. We just heard it. Okay. All right, let's 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 see what just happened. It sounded like it was down. Dude, it here. was down the whole hallway that day. Wait, there's nothing else here? It's a dead end? It's a dead end, dude. This door's locked. Did they bang on the door? There's no way to What? The door. Just like the last yeah, they banged on the door in SK too. Oh god. And you said the door's locked? Door's locked. Door's locked. Okay, so yeah, it's not I, like anybody. I, I shit you not, that is not the first time that door is banged. It's <laughs> not the first time? No, that wasn't true. No, that wasn't. Let's be quiet and see if we can hear it again. Wow. Not on it. Sure, if that was it though. Who's down here with us? I'm gonna come on this side. Me? Did that just say me? So, uh, it said me straight up. It, 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 it sounded like it. Can you tell us your name? Is his name Dick or is he calling you a dick? Probably the other one. He's calling him a dick. Yeah. All right, say your name, please, Claire. He said Dick again. Yeah. Were you a patient? Were you a staff? Hi. Staff? I Did it say staff? I don't know. I don't know. If you were staff, what was your role? Were you a nurse? Yes. That was a yes. Sounded like yes. What was your name, ma'am? Joyce. 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 That was immediate, too. How many of us do you see? Can you count how many of us? Many. Hello. Who just said hello? Male voice said hello. What's your name, sir? Bruce. 
Bruce. Hi, Bruce. My name's Joe. Can you say my name? That said, I heard it. It was pretty faint. It said Joe. If you said my name, thank you. Can you say it again a little clearer? Yeah, it sounded like it said Eric. <laughs> Somebody say ghost? Yeah. What's on what's on John's pajamas? Ghost. Ghost. Wow. Thank you. Who's this guy? You know this guy right here. You say his name all the time. Seth. Oh my Just god. Just said it. Dude, every Thank time. You. Every time, man. Seth got a connection. Are you with Jalen over here? Now's your time to tell him. Do you like to tell him? Thank you. Uh, you uh, what is that? That's something like that, honey. I have no idea what that is. The bathroom? Oh, it's a spare box, I think. Yeah, it's a spare box. Why did that just go off by itself? It just turned out. <laughs> yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that was weird. That, that, that was weird. weird. That was really that was weird. Not, has that ever happened before with that? Yeah. There's an alarm on it. But... Oh, maybe the alarm said. John. John, right out of the gate. Oh, dude. John. Is right. this a sign? What the hell? Maybe. Maybe they want us to use that one. Maybe that Can you say hello to this? What other names do you know? Did I say Josh? Yeah, that's just a lot of Josh. Oh, just said Josh. Dude. Yeah, so John and Josh. Any other people's name you'd like to say? Is he? I, I really John again. I think totally heard of him. Who is this right here? What's his name? Hi. Hi. Totally got cold. I totally got cold. If there's a guy named Skippy, please say your name. Uh, Skippy, Skippy right there. Right you heard that? Absolutely, 100%. I heard it. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye. 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 Thank you for talking to me. Good night. And the K2 is still like going off right here. Yeah. This is so cold. If you put your hand through yeah. here, it's completely different. That's it all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, the air is coming through. It's, it's definitely colder though in there. Different temperature in there. Did you did you move something in there? No. When you what happened? It something grabbing you? Something moved. When you when you touched it, did you like shake it or move it or anything? I don't remember, to be honest. I didn't touch anything. I know that. There's nothing really. Um, yeah. I, don't I felt loose. something. You know I know. What I mean? Did you feel it again? Did you touch it? I mean, like I'm, I'm like right here. I didn't. I mean, maybe the vibration. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no. No. I felt nothing. something else. Try not. It's cold as hell. Yeah, I'm trying yeah, yeah, to keep my hand there because. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> no. God, dude. Sorry, man. Dude, he was standing like right here. I couldn't see your hand. It scared the shit out of me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> can, you, can you finish this for me if you're on the other side? Come on, Skippy. Knock back, buddy. Either way, the movement in the wind.
whistle that got us to even get to skip these doors was 100% legit. Absolutely. And some of the EVPs we got, the, a, the EMF, KMF meter, there's something definitely down here. So we're gonna now head to Devin's place, which is the cool, huge building, it looks like a school. We're gonna try to wing some stuff there. The night's still young. I mean, we're gonna keep recording, keep recording all night. I mean, yep. it's gonna be crazy. We're on a big adventure right now. Yep, let's do it. So this is technically the newest building on campus. It was built, um, well, it started before World War II, and then obviously the war came, so they had to stop construction. But after World War II, they came back and they built it up. And it was originally meant for offices and for staff, but as Pennhurst's patients numbers kept overcrowding. increasing, overcrowding due, they had to start shoving patients in here. They didn't have a choice. So in the well, basement of this building, that's where we're gonna go first. There's actually a children's ward down there. It's really, really creepy. But if you look at like over here, like those makeshift wall things. That was a cubicle? Those were, well, those were originally gonna be cubicles and then they kind of had to do something. So they turned them into makeshift rooms. Oh, wow. So that's what they did. And they started pushing patients in that. All right, guys, let's go to the basement. Yeah, we're gonna see Candyland. So they were filming a movie here a couple weeks ago, and this is what they left. So they wanna lay on the bed. For a what bit. were they filming, do you know? I don't know, yeah, I don't know. I don't know too much about it. <laughs> Their sleeping bag is still here. I don't know if they actually slept down here, I have no idea, but. Yeah. Dang, this is a setup. Let's do something here. Yeah, hell yeah. This, we should do our next station here. This is Candyland. And so you're saying right down, this was the children's, like, those was like a children's ward down here. And then this room right here was like a, like a day room. For oh. A, I bet you can't guess why they called it Candyland, huh? Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, no, this is cool. Yo, they, so but they even have the other. So, yo, I really like this mural. Mm. Because I always ask people, I'm like, how many children do you see in this mural? Yeah, because I see four. It's four, so five. So Oh, see? The girl in the wheelchair. Oh. You know, so they didn't leave anybody out. Yeah, I didn't see I didn't. I literally just didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, she's like hidden, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah man, this room, this room's cool. Yeah, we gotta... Oh, I'm gonna take my REM pod out too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna set up, we got some. I mean, they'll, they'll come soon. Yeah, they come. Happy about that? Can you say the word happy? Or if you're sad about it, can you say the word sad into that red light? What the f is that? Did we just hear you down that back hall in front of me? Guys hear that first noise, like back here. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. Back over there. Yeah. Like, some of like a crunch, it's like something. Yeah, like someone stepping. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they were stepping. Are you happy we want to reopen this building to put some visitors in? It was it's been closed for so many years. Are you happy now that people can come back in here and see it? If you're happy about that, can you say the word happy? Sad about it, can you say the word sad into that red light? What the f is that? Hold on a second. Yeah, I, happy? I thought it's just happy. I thought. Sad about it, can you say the word sad into that red light? It said happy. Oh, oh my god. It said happy. Yeah. Dude. That scared me when I heard it. Yo. I bent down and I heard the word happy. I didn't think that was really gonna happen. Did you not hear it, guys? Yeah, hold on. Let's do so, so you know it's intense when the staff at Penhurst is not, saying, <laughs> "Dude, I've never heard something right? Like that. You know let's, play that, let's play that again. That scared me. That scared me. Something like that in Devon, ever, ever. If you're happy about that, can you say the word happy? I heard it there too. It's very, very Or if you're sad about it, can you say the word sad into that red light? Oh, oh my god. Right oh my god, that's amazing. 
I need the light, Johnny. I need the light. I, need I, the light. I heard it very, very or faintly the first time. Say the word sad into that red light. Oh my, oh my god. god! Oh my god! That was a good one. Oh my god. Did you guys hear it? Yeah. Thank you for leaving that message. As you can see, we, we can hear you. And we're very happy that you're happy. Can you tell us your name, please? Because okay. <laughs> I heard two things. Mm -hmm. I heard it. I heard one. Call. I did hear. I did hear one little like noise back there. A tiny one. Yeah, tick. So. This is juicy right now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is about as juicy as it gets. Tell us anything you want. You can sing us a song. You can do whatever you want. Happy again. Just let us know you're here. You're okay. I thought I heard something right there. Too. Yeah. Happy Whoa, again. Happy shit. again. Happy yeah. Totally. I want to hear it. I want to hear it one more time. I'm I know positive. I totally said happy it's like, again. It's the same it's voice, too. A lot of emphasis on the P. Yeah, the P definitely stands for Tell us anything you want. You can sing us a song. You can do whatever you want. Oh my god. That sounds like a girl. That sounds like a girl saying that. You're doing such a great job communicating with us. You're making us happy by talking to us. Come back here. Dude, what if that really is a sign? That can't be a well, coincidence that that's happened so twice. Like we gotta turn it on and what see. If that, what if they really yeah. know that that's what they want to use to talk to us? Yeah. I don't know what they said. We can play that back. We like need so. to play that because something turned it back yeah, on. Yeah, and then we just move on. Are you still here? I thought I heard it. I thought I heard it. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> What's going on here? Dude? I'm, crazy. I'm just happy that the spirit's that happy. That's why we sit in silence for a while. I'm gonna try that. That's what I think we should do. Yeah. Let's do that and just move on. This is nice. This is crazy, dude. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. It. Don't leave. Dude. All right, I'm gonna shut this off, okay? What? That was that was solid. That was a solid like thump from back there. The lights. It said lights. Oh, that that's crazy. It we, said lights. As soon as you turned your light on. It said lights. Can you? So what do you think? Should we sit here for a few minutes? Just I'd like so. do, do nothing? It. And then we just... Yeah. This activity is nuts, man. It's been fun. This is nuts. <laughs> the EVP is the best part yeah. always for me. I know. Oh, that's my favorite. Yeah, yeah EVPs nothing. are always number one. one. I'm taking a seat right here, and I'm just gonna chill. I'm feeling a little chilly. Me too. Yeah, and I thought I just heard a little girl's voice behind me. I shit you not. Like, right before you said that. There's someone down there? Whoa. No way. No f way. We heard you knock. Can you knock again? What is that? Yeah. If you're in one of the rooms in the hallway, can you roll something out from one of the rooms? What was that? 
spilled a pebble or something. I was here. just gonna say, can you throw something? Did you did did somebody kick something? Or no, nobody. Something? Here, here. Nobody was I moving. It. I totally heard it. It was literally Bounced. right here. Maybe it was me. No, yeah. it was it was way off. No, this was like over here by me and John. It sounded like a little pebble. Yeah. That was my, that was the very next thing I was gonna say is could you throw a little pebble? There's a lot of crap going on. It's like it's it. right here. Wait, right now? Yeah. yeah. Was that you? If it was, thank you. Can you do it again? Over here. Really? Yes. I think the I heard it. same exact I think I heard it too. Thank you for communicating with us if this is you. We really appreciate it. Can you show us where you are now? Can you make a noise? Right, that's so what I'm thinking. If throwing something is all you can do, you can do that for us. We would like it a lot. What the fuck was that? That was somebody's stomach. <laughs> okay, I was. <laughs> it, it honestly I sounded it was like a hum or yeah. some shit. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Whose stomach was that? I don't know. <laughs> Damn it, John. <laughs> it sounded like a. <laughs> Is that you? No. no, that was not John. I literally looked as soon as I heard that. That are was. A, are you no. down that hallway down there where I'm shining my light? Can you step out into the hallway for us? Did you what the, hear those steps? Those are oh my god, dude! Those footsteps. Did you hear those footsteps Sean? No, I didn't they were sure. all the way down at the end of the hall. Either way. That was for, that was a, those were footsteps. Those were like three or four solid footsteps. Yeah, Eric, you heard that? I don't know if I heard it. I mean, oh oh my god, it's clear as day. I don't think I heard it. Guys, it is already midnight now. Three hours left till 3 a.m. The shower? Shower, yeah, for the second floor shower in particular. I don't this. Up here, man. Let's swing it. <laughs> Can you tell me what you see on the cover of that orange book? That's right behind the recorder. What was that? that was something. That almost sounded like turtle. <laughs> pumpkin. Is, is there a pumpkin on it? Yeah, there's a pumpkin. Yeah. There's like five pumpkins on right, there. It, but did it say it? That's the I key. I don't know. It's so, it's it almost like there's a bang almost. Oh, oh it sounds like pumpkin. Yo, it sounds like pumpkin. It does sound like pumpkin. Oh, clear as hell. Show the book, show the book. There's like five pumpkins there's like five on it. There's like five pumpkins on it. Yeah, literally, it definitely said that. That's awesome. You heard that stuff. That's right? awesome. 100%. Yo, just play it one more time. That's awesome. Yo, did you hear, did you hear it though? Did you do it? Did you do Yo, it? Yo, hear it now. Hear it now, John. Did you beat the train? Oh, that's awesome. Did it say this again? Did it say it again? It said it twice. Yeah, it said it twice, John, dude. John, grab your flashlight. He said it was louder. That was way louder, bro. I'm not even lying when I say this. It's been a long time since this much activity has happened. That's Here. interesting. I just can't believe we heard Pumpkin three times on the same EVP. It's crazy. All right, guys, we have an hour left before 3 a.m. We're gonna start the challenge now. Everyone's staying in here, and one by one, we're gonna be taken into uh, Skippy's tunnel. Um, I have, I'm gonna take the REM pod with me. I'm gonna do it there. Yeah, they're going, everyone else is going uh, through this tunnel. What's this tunnel called? Yeah, the Mayflower Tunnel. Oh, the Mayflower Tunnel. They're going to try to get something good. Good luck, guys. Yeah, dude, good luck. Yeah, good luck. Um, I mean, you know, if you need me, I guess try to text I will run out so hard for real, though, if something happens. Yeah, I really will. Facts. All right, let's do this. Nah, I, I got to face my fears. Like, this is what I have to do. I'm going to say whatever battery I have left in this bad boy. You got this, bro. All right. No, we're gonna do this, man. 
Like I said, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over. It's gonna be like a true ghost adventure shit, man. I think it is. I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna slide the door open, let you in, slide the door closed, and I'm leaving. All right, <laughs> all right, yeah, 10 minutes. That's ten, all I have to do. Minutes, man. That's all you need. That's all I got. If you don't make it, it's okay. It's okay, I'll, I, I legit just walk back if I can't handle it. Yeah, if you can make it, man, it's totally understandable. <laughs> but keep in mind, I've been here for four years, I won't do it. That. Yeah, no worries. I don't blame you, man. <laughs> Ew, if I heard noise, oh my god. <laughs> and plus, if there's any EVPs, they can get it off of my own camera. So that's yeah. another thing. Exactly. All right. I'm recording now, too. Oh, the door's already closed, huh? So I, I gotta open it. Oh my god. All right. I'll do it, bro. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Doesn't start till you get there, though. Remember. All right. Yeah. You have. I'll see you later, man. Walking, Yo, just watch your step down there. Remember. Oh, for real. Right All right. All right yup. Thank you. Holy shit. Yo, I actually don't think I could do this. I gotta shut the door too. I don't know, guys. I don't freaking know about this. I can't see anything. Like, I'm not even kidding you, Explorers. I literally, on some real shit, I can't see anything but the camera itself. And just my REM pod. I don't even want to turn it on. Oh my god, I'm actually really freaking scared. There's no way people are actually going to do this. There's no way my team's going to do it. I mean, I have to be like I'm in Outlast. I'm looking through my camera to see, and even my camera can't even focus because it's so freaking dark. I don't know about this. Explorers, I know this is like the time to do this because of like September, October, Halloween. I mean, I can't even freaking see. I can't see my own arm in front of me. And all the people in the history and knowing that people died here, I don't know if I can do this. Hang on. We're gonna use my flashlight to get down to the end. I, I cannot do this. Okay. All right, all right. Here's Skippy's room, just like I said. I'm gonna put a REM pod down. If it goes off, I swear on my life, I'm leaving it down here. I'm by myself by your door, Skippy. I'm just hanging out. Don't want to cause any trouble. Or anyone else is down here for that matter. I'm just hanging here. If there's anyone here, can you please make a noise or a sound? You know, I actually got my own ghost here and an EVP recorder. I'm gonna try this myself. Exploring with Josh is going in on EVP. All right, guys, we're about to play the EVP back. Hey, Skippy. I'm in your basement. around me. If you can hear me, can you say hi? I don't mean any harm or trouble. I'm just alone here wanting to talk to you. Can you see me? If you can see me, can you t can you say see? If you know you're dead, can you say the word dead? All right, Explorers. Just did an EVP record by myself. Nothing happened, but it is so scary and the thrill's real. Also, keep in mind, Explorers, if you're watching this and you're listening, keep an eye out because we might have got EVPs walking in this hallway just me and you, so listen to the audio, because that could always be a thing.
If there's anyone in this tunnel, can you please make a, no a sound? My last try before I go. For anyone who's around me right now, can you touch the red light right there? I'm pointing at it right now on the ground. Nothing. I won't lie, this is not like my abandoned videos. Jesus, so creepy down here by myself. God, uh, definitely was a big challenge to do. I know this is super bright on me, but just so you guys get, I'm just documenting my experience because this is one for the books. Nothing scary has to happen here. It's just a scary thing to do in general. So I did it, but I did it with the lights on. Oh, <laughs> I, couldn't, I, I couldn't do it. I could not do it, bro. It was too scary. There's no way, right? There's no way. No it, I want to see someone else do it without the light on. Yeah. I lasted the 10 with the light on. That's it. I want to see them do it without the light. That's incredible. You know what? I'm going to tell them I did it without the light so I can see what they say. So I try. Sure. Well, yeah. well, well, that's the thing, dude. They said they're like, eh, maybe we'll wait and see how he, how he was, you know? Oh, I yeah. gauge his reaction. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell yeah. Him it wasn't bad. I, I, I'm going to say it, it honestly wasn't bad, and I, I'm just going to say, you guys do it now. I'm gonna I'm gonna be like just watch out you can't see you have to you have to look into the the screen to see but I just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and like Casey doesn't know like the screen has a light on it oh my god so she's only gonna Yo, think it's the screen that. yeah Screwed. oh let's go see what happens well we did it guys I won't lie to you it is freaking crazy it's scary and you have to it's the only way you can see is by using this screen you have to look into the screen. Nothing happened though, but your mind's gonna just mess with you. Yeah. It's up to you guys. I mean, Casey said she's gonna do it. Casey, just swing it, okay? Yeah. All right, Casey, let's go. Wait, did you go to the middle or by the door? I went to Skippy's door. I just chilled there. Okay. Did you talk about it? I did, okay. but nothing happened. But it was just scary by itself, honestly. Just take my camera and go do it. Just have fun. I'll do it. All right. So I'm at Skippy's door now, and turning the light. I'm actually gonna sit down. <sighs> Apparently Skippy does not like women. Skippy, I just turned 22 and it's cool if you don't like me. No hard feelings. Maybe make yourself known. If you want to knock on the door, Skippy, if you're here, knock. Over 10 minutes. I'm gonna find my flashlight. If anyone is talking to me at all, thank you. 
I appreciate it. Skippy, if you came by, I'm sorry. Now let's head back. All right, Casey, did you actually do it? Really? Yes, I did. What it's on video if it is. Yeah, I know. You did it. Um, yes, you did, man. Yeah, the first like five, I was just like messing around in the hallways. And then the last five, I started messing with the door. Skippy. Yeah. It's on there. Yeah. So, Yo, so you did a it. a bunch of bangs. Especially in Skippy's hallway. Like she did it? Yeah. Were you there with her? Oh no, I wasn't there. I actually went back over to Mayflower and then went over there. So like, uh, let me so, guess, like So yo, here's the thing. What did, like so you were knocking on the door? Yeah. And like, like he, was there like noises well, coming back or I thought this had pockets. I started uh. going like that. Um like at first I was like sitting ac right across the door and then I was like talking to him. I was like Skippy, like if you're here, like make it known, like kick something, move something. And then I heard a bang, like in the door. Oh shit. Yeah. I heard a bang in the door too, but it was like a tap. So I, I just questioned oh, really? it off. But if yours is more of a louder bang, yeah, that's Yeah, it was legit. a loud bang. Yeah? Yeah. All right, we have to check that. Yeah. So, so when I did it, I had the flashlight on. <laughs> You're a b <laughs> <laughs> You're a b <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that in. Yo, yo, yeah, yo. So. I made it totally on the, uh, way, back. Uh, on the way back. Oh, on the way back though. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. No, I turned oh. it off. I had it off the whole time. Yeah, I, well, there was a flashlight on this, but I figured you wouldn't know about the flashlight on it. No, I don't know. Exactly. So I was like, okay, I was wondering, I was, I was like, is Casey actually going to do it? Because it was just pitch black. And yeah. you did it? Yeah, and like, well, every time like I like move the camera, it, I felt like it was cheating. So I would look the other way. So it's a little darker. <laughs> oh my God, dude, you're crazy. You're crazy. She's ballsy, man. Yeah, that is doing? ballsy. That's badass. Hell yeah. Seth, are you doing it? Now I look like a bitch if I say. I no. mean, I mean, we, <laughs> it doesn't matter at this okay, point. Dude, it's okay. Yeah, it's it's. it's and we only. I mean, you can just. Have there's no recording time left on the camera. I don't think yeah. there is. Yeah. No, I think there's it took not. like two more minutes. There's too. four minutes left on the car. Yeah. Uh, we can get away with it for part two. Yeah. Part two. Seth will have to do it next time. If you want to see me in that tunnel by myself? Give us thirty thousand likes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how much it's gonna take. It's done. What's done is done. Hopefully. They have the key to this place. <laughs> <laughs> but we're heading out of here, guys. We just left the Mayflower Hall. They said it's one of the haunted places ever. But we had some crazy activity up in this building. On the third floor. On the floor, third floor. Yeah. Crazy you know, stuff. It was like, they were like messing with us, going back and forth. Yep, in that corridor with the hallways. And what else did we get? We had some of the best stuff I thought of this night was John's spirit box. Literally, alarm going off or something. Like no hinting that they want us to use us. He turns it on and it says John and then my name. I think even yours right after, right? Yeah, eventually it said my name. That was amazing. And then it happened again. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't know. It's been a long, crazy day. We had the EVPs of them saying happy nonstop. We had them saying pumpkin, literally describing the book. It's been a great night. It's been super fun. Uh, shout out to our tour guide, Eric, as well. He's in the back. He's chilling. He's cool. You know. He's the star of the show, actually. He's better but, than us. Yeah, he's better than us. That's all right. We'll get that. We'll get there. Yeah, I mean, John and you, as you can see, John and Joe, they just left. They dipped out. It's just us now. We're probably going to have to end it here. Overall, it was a super good day, a uh, good time. Some of the best EVPs we got was right here, I think. I don't know. Actually, no, SK was good, too. SK was pretty good. Yeah, we this, keep bringing up was SK really, a lot. really good. Yeah, Maybe overall, I mean, this is a this is a really a special place. All the buildings that are still here with the best documentary history online that you can kind of pull it, download and bring it into this footage. It's all good stuff. I'm just saying random things so you can just add it in if we want to. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, guys. We're so spacey right now. Like, we're... we're Dude, it's 3 so, in the morning. It's 3 in the morning. We're we started ghost hunting fuck. since 5 a.m. <laughs> all the way to 3 in the morning. Actually, I think it's past. I think it's like 3.05 now. We gotta get out of here. We just shut the doors. Pretty much that means we gotta go. I'm out of here. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of getting almost possessed. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> Explorers, it is 3.05 a.m. This is when we said we were done ghost hunting. I told you guys from the beginning we were gonna stay till 3 in the morning. We got here at 5 p.m. on the dot and we stayed till 3 in the morning. We've been ghost hunting and filming for over, dude, I don't know, like 10 hours, honestly, like for real, I can't even think anymore. 
But overall, it's been an amazing day, a great experience. We got to explore one of the most haunted insane asylums in the entire US. And again, one of the most well-documented asylums ever to exist with so much before and after history to make this whole story put together strong. It's been an amazing day. Like I said, we had the, some of the great, greatest, you know, EVPs, lots of noises everywhere all around us at some time being inside any of the buildings. We went to the Mayflower, went to the third floor. We had all the crazy noises happening. We went inside Devon building and that's when we got some of the best EVPs ever. They're saying happy. They're saying pumpkin in other areas. It was just nonstop, just great. Some of the best stuff we ever got. Even the guide said, oh, this is crazy. This never happens like this. It's been good. And again, we kept it real since the beginning. I'm gonna end this video here, right back where we started, showing off the administration building. Boom. It's been a good one, guys. Um, again, I run a merch website. This is some of the Beyond the Dark merch. This shirt is actually my oldest one. So like, they'll be even better looking than this. But you can even get some amazing sweaters repping Beyond the Dark if you love this show. Thanks so much. We're always trying to go to the next haunted place or the most known haunted places all around the world, not just the US. This is my new show that just kind of started. We started off with The Conjuring House. We built a team up of ghost adventures and we ended up here at Penhurst. Big place for us, big accomplishment. And oh my God, my arm is getting sore from doing all this. If you're still watching this, thanks so much. But it is now time to go shout out to everyone who was with us and without further ado guys we're gonna end it here rise above just get out there explore peace and thanks for watching